Brian, it's me. Open up. I'm still not done with the car yet, Jack. Are you sure? Are you sure you're not done? Maybe this will change your mind. Here it is. Thanks, Jack. Ruth would have been heartbroken if I'd lost it. I'll be done in just a second. Hold on. <laughs> I'm not done with the car, Jack. Give him the brooch. I'm finished. Get in the back. Now he's done. Way. Yeah, this game is, um, uh, let's just say overly scripted at times. Jack, I think I saw some ammo in the back of the truck. We'll need it. This is gonna be fun. Escape from Innsmouth. This game has so seriously some of the coolest sequences I've ever seen in the game. Yeah, seriously, to what? This thing doesn't exactly have handles. Alright, how much ammo do I have? 50 of that, 26 shots. Alright, I got a lot of ammo. Get ready, Jack. I'm ready. Come on, bust through it, bust through it. I'm just gonna keep my head down here. Great. Come on, come on, come on. I got hit right after I healed. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> oh god. Ramona! Hi. This truck sounds like a pile of rust. If a pile of rust could drive, this is what I think it would sound like. This thing sounds like a piece of shit. Alright, I think I need to leave. Do something about that truck, Jack! Alright, hold on, hold on! There we go. Explosive thing. Damn it, I keep getting hit after I heal. Oh my god. I, um, I need more medical supplies, holy shit. Ow. Okay, I need to be really careful from here on out. Get out, Jack. The old fishing cannery is just around the corner. Hurry up! Alright, 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 let's go. With the order. Just find Ruth. I'll meet you at the other side. Oh, I can't even jump out. You just... Loads a new level. Okay. Some really awkward transitions in this game. Oh my god, you can hear me walking on my broken leg. Okay, grab this weapon. Revolver. Search everywhere. Don't move, stranger. Oh, 
Oh yeah, headshot master. Stop where you are, stranger. He must have him. Don't let him get away. Stop moving. Prepare to die. Oh, I don't think I'm the one that needs to prepare to die. Oh my god, it sounds so disgusting. I'm walking with these broken legs. You can hear the bones, like, clicking. Ugh. Alright, let me make sure everything's loaded. Okay. How many revol- Oh, I actually have quite a bit of ammo. But I'm doing seriously bad. Okay, that cures my walk at- Oh, wow. That cured everything. I thought I needed more sutures, but apparently not. The hell is wrong with that lighthouse light? That does not look normal. W what? Is that like a rendering error or what? That just looks wrong. Outsider, stop. What? Oh. Here, why don't you come around the corner? Oh, I don't have the whistle anymore. Come on. Yeah, the gunplay in this game is really fun. It's kind of unfortunate that it turns into an action game, though. I mean, just the fact that you have so many weapons, it really just turns it into an action game. With just a bunch of creepiness added onto it. Um, uh, there, are, there are times when that changes, though. Trust me. Like, it's not just a pure action game from here on out. Like I said before, the you go to some very strange places, environmentally speaking and just situationally speaking. It's not like the entire rest of the game is just going to be like a run and gun. It's, it's not. And as much as I like the gunplay, though, I do think it would have been scarier if you didn't get a gun. But, oh well. Oh, hi. I think I'm... I think I see one of them. Before that, though, what's up here? Nothing but blackness. Oh, shit, that's a Tommy gun. Yep, I'm going to be getting a Tommy gun soon, I think. Because now they have Tommy guns and I have Tommy gun ammo. Alright, well, um, screw stealth, so boom. Did you hear something? I'm sorry, what'd you say? I didn't quite catch that. I really love the sound effects and the voice acting for the enemies. It's just so creepy and weird. Just the strange guttural noises that they make. So that was one of the deep ones I just killed. It's so weird that they don't drop ammo. Their bodies just disappear in like two seconds. Probably for performance reasons. You heard, yeah, you heard the shot where I just shot like an inch from your head and missed. Come here. Headshots are so powerful in this game. As they should be. What the hell is that noise? What the fuck is that? Is 
It's weird. Sound like someone just slipped on a slab of meat or something. Oh, ice. Hey guys, what's up? Come on. Come around the corner. Oh god. Ow. Oh, there's another one. Reload. Okay. How am I doing? Oh, not too good. There we go. All right. Was it four, six, seven, seven for the Tommy gun? And I have a hundred shots. That is not even aiming down the sights, which I guess makes sense because, well, I don't think you're gonna be making accurate shots with the Tommy gun. I have a lot of ammo, especially with the shotgun. What did I just pick up? Hmm. Might have been just like a general ammo kit for everything. I don't know, I got 50 Tommy gun rounds. Not sure about the other weapons. Yeah, I definitely got more shotgun too. Alright. Wait, where do I go? Uh. Up here? Ah, okay. Oh yeah, pulling Half-Life 2. Breaking glass, like a boss. Alright, let's try this Tommy gun out. Oh no, the game crashed for the first time ever. But, the good thing is, it, um... It crashed right after I saved, which is about the most ideal time for it to crash possible. Alright, welcome back. Just booted up the game again. Right back here, since I thankfully got to save before it crashed. I'm actually amazed. It took me about four hours or so into the game for it to crash. That is amazingly stable compared to how it was before, trust me. Alright. Looks like this way. It's locked. Nope. This way? No. Um, where do I go? Maybe this was just a save point and nothing else? Or do I jump up somehow? Hmm. It's locked. Hmm. Yeah, ow. Wait, seriously, I can I can go up this board? What what the hell? I don't think you're meant to do that. Or are you no what huh? Okay, I don't think I'm meant to progress up here. I think this is just a save point. Let's break this other window for good measure. Boom! I don't suppose this opens? It won't open. Nah, I didn't think so. Alright, where do I go? Oh, I go into a box maze. Okay. Well, the Tommy gun's gonna suck here. Because the Tommy Gun is kind of for, like, close, maybe medium range. And this is going to be a job for my pistols, especially this one, the revolver. 
Because this thing is a sniper. Alright, where is everyone? I mean, come on, they're gonna come out, right? They're probably gonna bust in here in just a second, I think. Keys. To what? Where are these keys to? Hmm. Jack, I'm up here. Ruth, what the hell are you doing up there? I must have been followed. They stormed inside just moments ago. There was gunfire outside. I only just managed to climb up here and threw the ladder down to escape. I'm trapped up here, Jack. The door's padlocked, and this ledge isn't going to hold for much longer. I don't want to die, Jack. Help me! Keep back! I'll figure something out. I can hear something. Yep, they're coming. Look everywhere! I'll have some rounds here. Search the area! Shut up yourself, officer. Search wherever you want. Look everywhere! Come out! Alright, time to headshot. Headshot to win. Oh shit! Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Just, just kill me. I didn't realize they were coming from right there. <laughs> I was getting shot in the back. Oh my god. There's so many of them. Okay, that's a job for the. Oh god. I'm all the way back here. Okay, uh, that's a job for the Tommy gun. Definitely. Yep. You are meant to mow them down. So yes, the save system makes, as you can see, the save system makes things more intense because you're actually going to lose real progress. However, it also makes things frustrating because I have to do all of this again. Uh, hopefully I can skip the cutscene, but I don't know. We'll see. Alright, so wait, what is that key for? Where am I going? I see a door up there, but how do you even get there? Like, am I meant to run or am I supposed to shoot them? Am I meant to jump up? Nope. I don't get it. Maybe I just need to defend, defeat them and then Ruth does something? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna shoot him. Jack, I'm up here. Can you skip? Nope, you can't skip the cutscenes. What the hell are you doing up there? I must have been followed. They stormed inside just moments ago. There was gunfire outside. I only just managed to climb up here and threw the ladder down to escape. I'm trapped up here, Jack. The door's padlocked, and this ledge isn't going to hold for much longer. I don't want to die, Jack. Help me! Keep back. I'll figure something out. I can hear something. Spread out. And here's what I mean about the game being overly scripted. It forces you to watch them when you could be reposi repositioning yourself to a more strategically sound location. Instead, you're forced to just watch. Okay. Run and gun time. Reload. Faster. Jack, be I'm being careful. I'm being careful, Ruth. Just stay up there. Come on. Present your head to me. Alright, let me use up my uh, shotgun ammo here. It's about to go out. Wait, what? I, this is timed? Alright, we need to be faster then. 
Okay, okay, what do I need to do, Ruth? I can feel it moving. Help me! What? What do I do? Hold on, let me heal. I I can't walk very fast. There's not much time. Like really, is it about to fall right now? Seriously? Oh god, I'm still not walking fast. Well, shit. <laughs> I didn't know that could actually happen. Damn it, I wasn't fast enough. C can I keep playing? Can you actually continue the game if she's dead? Um... Sorry, Brian. Ruth's dead. I tried to save her, but... No! Uh, Damn it! That's not possible! If it wasn't for me, she'd still be alive. Shut it. You don't have time to be angry. If we don't get out of here right now, we're gonna end up the same way. Get in the back. I... Wow, okay, I didn't know that was possible. How are you supposed to save her? I don't get it. We got a town not far from here. Just hold on. Well, it seems I've been rescued by the FBI or the cops or whatever they are. That's Mackie's friends. Oh, wow. I'm back here. I ask for your damn opinion. Remember who funds this damn nut house. Very well. He's awake. Ah, Mr. Walters. Our friends in the Boston PD hold you up as quite the hero. Before you went all screwy, that is. I don't like heroes, Mr. Walters. And I don't care for your opinions, whoever the hell you are. J. Edgar Hoover, from the Bureau. And considering your position, Mr. Walters, you best mind your manner. Now, what was your business in Innsmouth? Just stopping in on some broad. I was feeling down on my luck. I needed the company. Ah, bullshit. There are only two types of folks that visit Innsmouth. Criminals and fools. And you don't seem like a fool. Appearances can be deceptive. I see. Dr. Hardstrom, if you'd be so kind. Wake him up.
Just charge me with something, cause I don't know nothing. This is not gonna stop, Mr. Walters, so you may as well level with me. I already told you. It was nothing. A missing person case, and I needed the dough. I was only checked in for one night, and I had to blow the joint in the early hours. Seems the locals didn't take kindly to my snooping. For Christ's sake, Walters! Is it normal in your line of work to break a punk out of the can, then breeze out of town in a stolen car? Only on the good days. But not normally, no. I've had a shitty night, Hoover, so I really appreciate you cutting me some slack. What's the Bureau's beef with Innsmouth, anyway? Widespread criminal activity, Mr. Walters. And half the damn town's involved. Our government's never had to handle something on this scale before. But they won't sanction a full-scale operation without more evidence. Well, I appreciate the bedtime story. I don't see where I come into this. Thanks to your meddling, Mackie's gone missing. And he was close to something. Something we could use. Missing? What do you mean, missing? He was supposed to check in hours ago. Our plans have now changed. You'll be accompanying us back into Innsmouth, Mr. Walters, on a small-scale raid. Our target? The Marsh Refinery. <clears throat> I'm not your lapdog, Hoover. I don't work for the Bureau. I'm not in the business of making requests, Mr. Walters. Or have you forgotten your past so quickly? A signature here, a signature there, and we can make you a permanent fixture of this delightful establishment. I could even arrange for you to have your old room back. Fuck you. Good night, Mr. Walters. Pleasant dreams. Well, I guess I'm helping them. Jesus. So yeah, this is where the game takes a turn into the... even more strange. And it gets even more stranger from here on out. I love this game, despite all of its problems, despite its overly scriptedness and its jankiness and its technical issues. It's really cool. I've just never played a game like it, before or since. The Feds, February 8th, 1922. Night. During my interrogation, it became apparent that the FBI has been watching Innsmouth for some time. Mackie was the Bureau's inside man, now he's missing as well. Hoover and his boys are going to mount a raid on the Marsh Refinery, and I'm invited whether I want to go or not. As if I haven't been through enough in the last 24 hours. I tried to tell Hoover what's waiting for them in that refinery, what's lurking beneath the surface of the town, but he didn't believe me. I can't say I'm surprised, I wouldn't believe me either if I hadn't seen it for myself. And Hoover hasn't seen what I've seen. From the questions Hoover asked me, the, the Bureau knows next to nothing about Innsmouth or the refinery, even though the FBI has been watching Innsmouth for some time. But that's not surprising. Since it cut itself off from the outside world more than 50 years ago, and no one outside of Innsmouth's been inside the refinery since then. I guess Mackie didn't tell him much, or he didn't believe Mackie any more than he believed me. Hoover thinks the old gold refinery is the main source of wealth for the Marsh family, and is a base of some kind of criminal gang. He figures that a lot more gold comes out of the mill than is possible from the amounts of raw ore they buy, and he wants to know why. I guess I thought things were pretty simple too, when I first came to Innsmouth. Now, I envy him his ignorance. I must have been a sight when they found me. They certainly loaded me up with sedatives. 
They've almost worn off now, but I'm feeling drained. I wish I could blame the drugs for the dreams I had while I was out, but they were just like the dreams from the other night at the Gilman Hotel. Dreams keep on getting clearer, more like memories. I'm getting fleeting images of other things, too. They just seem to pop up from somewhere in my mind for no apparent reason. I have no idea what they mean, except that I need to keep a grip on myself. I don't want to make a return trip to the Arkham Asylum. The raid is set for tomorrow. I'd give anything to avoid going back to that town. The feds handed me back Ruth's brooch, which they found in the wreckage of the car crash. Another painful memory. It was really strange how the uh, Hoover's dialogue kept cutting off at the end, if you noticed. Like the last half second of his audio just kept cutting off. Very strange. I always wonder what causes just little weird issues like that. shows that you're a man to be trusted, even allowing for your stint in the nuthouse. I packed you with armaments. I demand your complete cooperation. Our reconnaissance reports have confirmed Sebastian Marsh, the manager of the refinery, will be out of town on business. He's left his son Jacob in charge of operations. We won't get a better chance to launch this raid. Our mission is to capture Jacob Marsh. He may be our only chance to get under the skin of the Marsh family. We must secure him alive. Even with Sebastian away, we expect the refinery to be heavily guarded. I'll fill you in with more details when we have breached the main doors. Jack, you better stay in the car while my agents secure the entrance. Get in your positions, agents! Keep sight of the loading bay. On the roof! Sustain your fire! Take them down! Hold your fire! Cooper, get those damn doors open! I got out of there just in time. Get here, <laughs> I'm coming. Hold on just a second. Jack, get the hell over here now. What do you Ow. Mean? That hurt. Two hold in. None of us can make a clean shot. For God's sake, Uber, get your men out of there. They're sitting ducks. Nonsense. We'll lay down some covering fire. You get your ass up there. Show us what you can do. What? You heard me. Now go! I can't get it. Oh, yeah, this sounds like a great idea. Sure. Do I still have all of my weapons? Oh, wow, I do. Okay. Hold on, let me heal up. Hold your positions, agents. Great time to make a suicide run. Thank you, Hoover. You're such a nice person. Sustain your fire. Wait, do I only have a pistol? Oh, shit, I only have a pistol. That's, yeah, that's all I have. I have all the ammo and stuff, but... Nope. Just the pistol. Someone needs to get in close. We'll never hit from this way. Ah! Okay. Um, your covering fire didn't work too good. Please tell me I don't have to watch the whole thing again. Please. No. Oh, seriously? Wait, wait, you can't skip it? Did I just... Okay, you can skip it, apparently. Get over here, Jack! 
Oh, I just figured it out. My super skills is not any, well, real particular skill other than observational skills. Apparently what I'm supposed to do, the thing I can do that apparently no one else can do, is I recognize that there's a big hole here. A twisty, windy back pathway. Yes, that is my special skill, the ability to spot holes in boxes. whoop de fucking do God, this scene is so dumb. It's terrible. I mean, if any... If there's any scene that could be called overly scripted, it's this. It's a scene where even if you shoot the person from range in which you've... Uh, from range, that you've shot many people before with this exact weapon, it, they're very killable from this range. If you shoot them, it arbitrarily does no damage because they've decided you shouldn't be able to shoot the enemy. If you go forwards, even if the even if they're not actually aiming at you, still, if you get hit, uh, you're forced to die, basically. It's scripted so that you die. So it's scripted so that the enemy can't die until you do what the game expects you to do. It's scripted so you die if you do what the game thinks you shouldn't do, even though you could reasonably do it. And your goal is to find a hole in a box to go around the back. Like, what? This scene is just pathetic. This is really bad. I still love this game. But this scene is terrible. And done. He's down. The area is clear. There's nothing to target. Oh yes, there is. How about all those people that kidnapped me, basically? It's securely mounted to the floor. I won't be able to take it with me. Fuck you, Hoover. Fuck you. Well done, Jack. Wait by me while my men secure the area. Check reception. It's locked, sir. Break it down, then secure the area. I want Marsh alive. Everything else is a viable target. Fall out. Understood, sir. Okay, Hoover. What's the plan? I want to know where the hell they're getting all this gold. Come on, let's take a look around. Okay. Holy crap, he did a number on that door. Ooh. What the hell is that noise? Um... from somewhere below. A mug, a pack of smokes, and a book. Reception must get real busy. They're giving me some serious ammo. So pistol, shotgun, and that's it. Tons of pistol, tons of shotgun too. Ah, I remember this area. Yes, I do. Where'd you go, Hoover? He's over there. Smelting floor access, pressure control. What the hell? What happened down there, Agent? Did you find Marsh? Jesus. What are you staring at, Jack? He was just a field agent. He knew the risks. The power's been cut from the elevator. It must have been shut down from the mains. You try the next floor down. See if you can find the generator. I'll secure this floor. Okay. The hell happened to him? Looks like half of his face got melted. There's no power to the elevator. All right, floor down. How do I... Where am I going to find the floor down? I can go up, but that's the opposite of what I want. Okay, here we go. Oh, God. What the hell now? Dear God. Okay, let's go down. Corridor is choked up with boiling hot steam. Oh my god, he got boiled alive. That is a bad way to go. Where did, 
where did I last save? 3 p.m. Uh, yeah, here we go. Actually, no, this one. The door's bolted shut. I don't think I'm getting through there right now. Nope. Nope, this is not where I need to go. Nope. Alright, let's do a full sweep of this place. Get a feel for what I can do. There's the elevator, which needs power. There's a pressure control whatever back there, which I can't seem to progress through. I can go up to administration. This is where I came from. For some reason you can't you can't jump over the guardrails. Even though you obviously could. Gotta go all the way around. Sub-level access. Okay, I think this is where I need to go. Any any screams? Yep, yep, this is it. Oh! Fighter, stop! Why don't you come say hello? Right here. Who's there? I right see here. You. Anyone else? All right, I think I'm good. I need some more weapons. I just heard a door open. A metal waste crate. Nothing of interest. A metal waste crate. Nothing of interest. All right, generator, workshop, gantry access and or processing. Generator is what I want. They have really bad aim. A metal waste crate. Nothing of interest. I think I heard someone walking. I do, but not on this level. I think they're on a different floor. Yep, they're coming for me. Prepare to die. We've got him. So We've got him. Uh, no, you. Oh God. Use up some of my shotgun ammo here. Come on. Anyone else? Yeah, the combat in this game is actually pretty damn easy. At least for these normal enemies. Under normal circumstances. Just kind of run around a corner and blast him in the face with a shotgun. That's, a, that's about it. More? Okay, I'm seriously thinking they might just be spawning. Oh god. Run, run. How did I not get hit? He dodged my bullets like a boss.
Alright, let's keep moving. Yeah, this thing's really inaccurate. I don't like having it out. Because you shoot two shots, and then you're kind of delayed when you have to switch weapons. So there's kind of like a couple seconds where you just can't even shoot. Where does this go and how does it work? I don't know where it goes and I think the answer is it doesn't work. Alright, how am I looking on ammo? 17 shots of that, still doing pretty good. Workshop. Don't. Don't think I need to go in here yet. But no reason not to. It's a drive belt for heavy machinery. Oh, I think I do actually. I probably need this to repair the generator or something like that. Oh, is that a rifle? Did I just pick up a rifle? Which key? Mm. Or is that just another shotgun? Yeah, that's just another shotgun. Oh, there we go. Revolver, you beautiful thing, you. A small brick furnace for repairing and making tools. The tools are all heavily rusted and blunted with age and glass. Oh, shit. Damn, this thing has some kick. MLG no scope shot. Of course, this thing doesn't have a scope, but you know what I mean. MLG no iron sight shot, I, I guess. You know, I really like the fact that you can get descriptions of a bunch of things around you. These old workbenches don't look like they've been used for a long time. It's a nice little detail. You know, it's not required. You don't need that information, but it just adds to the world. It's kind of... It's definitely an adventure, sort of adventure game mechanic, you know? Examining the environment and having it described to you. These old workbenches don't look like they've been used for a long time. And I really like it. It really adds the sense of place. Mm, nope, can't go down there. Alright, we'll I have a drive. I have a drive belt for some heavy machinery. That's where I came from. Let's go... Whoa. Where the hell did you come from, dude? Okay, I think there's... I think they're spawning. I'm pretty sure they're spawning. Alright, where's the generator? Oh, here we go. The door's bolted shut. Well, shit. The door's bolted shut. Kill him. Who goes there? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a good shot. And I'm back to the beginning. All right, let's go this way. I'm not the one that's gonna be dying. Am I going? Oh, there you are.
I should probably heal. It won't budge. Pressure control. Cyanide storage. Well, do I want to go in there? I guess I have to. Alright, have me look on ammo. Oh god, I have 45 revolver shots. Even if they are infinitely spawning, I don't think it matters. Generator room. Ooh, sweet. Okay, back entrance. What's over this way? Nothing. Alright. Who goes there? Uh, what? Why didn't he shoot me? And also, why is my aim so bad with the revolver when you don't aim down the sights? Or, or when you're moving? I mean, I know your aim would be pretty damn bad, but not that bad. I mean, the gun was aiming in his general direction, and it was shooting, like, up into the sky or something. Okay, don't shoot while moving, or especially while not aimed. Bad idea. The door is bolted shut. I hear some people want in. Okay, never mind. You can stay out there. I might be able to shoot that. Aha! Track generator. This must be the generator for the bucket track. Bucket control. Alright, uh, I guess I need to use this. Yep. Boom. Alright, let's just preemptively open this. So if I ever need to access this from the other side, I can. It won't open. Alright, so I need to put this somewhere where I can access it. Which would be what? I can't press the button. You it's in closed by the last panel. Where the hell are you going? Come back. Okay, I'll shoot your shoulder. It's weird, he was able to shoot me even though I couldn't really shoot him. I mean, like, his gun was going through the wall, I think. Okay, in case behind glass. So, let's solve that. Boom. Oh, does it just keep moving? Like, in starts and stops, or...? Oh, okay, okay, I get it. I can't make it for- oh, yeah. Heights. <laughs> uh, no, I can't make it from here. Alright, I gotta go back. To where that one card was, wherever it was. I really don't remember. Uh, can I jump over? No. How the hell did I get there? I don't even remember. I don't know, I'll run around until I find it. Shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> this place is only massive, right? Shouldn't be too hard to find something in a massive labyrinthian maze. I hear you. Somewhere. There you are. Ready for a headshot? MLG. God damn it, he moved. There we go. This is the beginning again. Alright, where was it? Here we go. Oh, isn't there? Yeah, there's a save point here. I better do that. 
don't want to lose my progress. Uh, can I please... Um... Okay. I couldn't jump in. Was I seriously hitting my head against this? Really? Alright. Um... What? Why can't I make it inside? I don't get it. This is what I'm supposed to do, right? Oh, what? I don't understand. This is clearly where I'm supposed to access the railway system, tram, car thing, whatever the hell you call these. What the fuck? Is this not what I'm supposed to do? Go! You know what? Shit. I think this might be a bug. Fuck. But wait, wouldn't that be solved by the unofficial patch? I heard, there, I heard about some prevalent bug, some sort of invis. What? Oh, okay. It worked, f but why? Where's the sound? Where's sound? I my. Sh okay, it's back. My gun made a sound. Everything else stopped. Um, yeah, I heard about a prevalent bug, something in the marsh refinery, something about an invisible wall that wouldn't go away, and I don't remember where it is, but that certainly seemed like it. However, it seems to have fixed itself. The sound seems to be wigging out, though. Alright, where am I going? I was just up there. I guess I could jump there, maybe? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I don't know. Let's see where this goes. Oh, wow. Okay, we're picking up speed. Where are we going? I don't like the sound of this. Alright, where the hell are we going? I, f I feel like I'm gonna be on this thing for like five minutes, and I'm gonna find out that I'm just gonna end up right back where I started. Which, I mean, inevitably I will, because that's how these things are designed, right? They go in a circle. Or a, a loop, I should say. Not necessarily a circle. Okay, this is new. I think. Oh, shit. That almost dropped me. Uh, was I supposed to drop? I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm confused. I, I haven't looped around fully yet. thing is so slow. Dear God. Why is it so slow? 
I think this is the beginning, isn't it? Isn't this the beginning? It's back to the beginning, and I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Okay, um... I'm just gonna leave that. Okay, I think that's a, that's an interesting note to end this episode on. Um, when I come back, I will have found where the hell to go in that thing, because I don't know. I think I'm either supposed to jump off at that one part at the... Uh, control? place where that one guy shot me okay yeah you're not gonna know what the hell i'm talking about i think i need to either jump off of that one place or maybe be ejected out of the bottom of it at that other place where the bottom seemed to open up i don't know anyway when i come back i will have figured that out so you don't have to wait for the entire ride that was boring and slow and horrible okay so i hope everyone has enjoyed so far and i will be back soon